o'clock chicken lady here weekly showcase day today we're going to talk about chick springsteen she is one of my oldest chickens uh you'll notice i'm sitting in a chair today got a hurt foot so i have to give a big thank you for my helper today oh, God. you know i can't chase you right all right let's talk about her <laughs> We've got a naughty chicken today. Uh, she, it took me five minutes to get her calm. As you can see. Oh. Am I killing you? Am I killing you? Now she is one of my oldest hens. She's just got done, well she's still, she's still getting a few of her feathers back, but she's pretty much done molting. Oh, these roosters. Um, so i did hit, hurt my foot this past week which is why i'm sitting and i just want to let everybody know that it is not cluck larry's fault i did not do it <laughs> climbing on the roof to get him what is wrong with you <laughs> all right we'll just hold you like this since you seem to be more comfortable this way so she's a leghorn so you know you've seen the classic you know the foghorn leghorn cartoons um that's what kind of chicken this is. She is a she. She lays white eggs. I'm going to try to set you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, she is being naughty today. I'm not able to control them as good as I normally would because I'm sitting down. So, let's just try this as if I'm standing up. There we go. Don't worry, no chickens are harmed when I film these, I promise. If I ever get one that is just like really not wanting to do it, I just switch them and I actually may end up doing that with her. I had a helper today, so yeah, it's okay. So, Chick Springsteen is Mike Flocken's mom, Cheaping the Truth with Dave's mom, and Mia's mom. And uh, she is a very consistent egg layer. She had a, I don't know if they were really sisters, she had uh, another leghorn that passed away this past summer named Cluck Norris, who they were just best friends with. I actually used to call them the Mean Girls because they used to always uh, stick to themselves, kind of acted too good for the other chickens. Um, so when Cluck Norris did pass away, I was super scared about... <laughs> Cluck Larry, you go after that cat again, and I'm going to throw something at you. Sorry. I've never had one of the roosters go after my cat. Cluck Larry, Cluck Larry. Mm. Okay, so. I was really worried about her when Cluck Norris died. They are older, you know, and it was probably, it was summer. It was when you really have to worry about chickens with having a heart attack, and that's what happened. So... Right, it was right about that time that I had moved some of my younger chicks over to them. One of them being her daughter, Mike Flocken. Now, Mike Flocken and her has really picked up a friendship, and I'm so happy because I was really worried about her. After I, you just never saw those two apart. I really thought that she might die of a broken heart. I don't know if that's a thing with chickens, but you know, I choose to believe that that could be a thing. And um, Mike Flocken really just picked up the picked up the place of. Her mama's best friend and has become best friends with her mom. I think that's super neat. Um, I love it. It's okay. So she is a very consistent egg layer. Calm down. Oh, calm down. Um, definitely one a day with her. With maybe she might take a day break. Um, maybe once every week and a half. Um, she is my only white egg layer at the moment because she i only ever had two leghorns and now all of my leghorns are when i mixed cluck norris is gone and my other white ones are mixed so they're laying pink eggs so 
So she is my only white egg layer right now. I'm going to have to get some more because I do. I like to have my assortment of egg colors. I'm terrified to set you down right now. I'm afraid you're going to just run off and I ain't never going to find you. I don't know if it's a thing with leghorns. But every leghorn I've had, is, well, I call them flighty birds. Because when you go to pick them up or anything, they just, whew, they'll just fly right over your head. They're, um, and they're also super... Uh, nervous all the time uh that's one of the reasons why we haven't done her yet i, I want you to calm down and sit down i want you to, i want you to calm, i want you to calm down and sit down oh my goodness okay. look at that chicken look at that chicken i love her floppy comb i love the floppy comb my <laughs> this is going to be a blooper show so um my flocking is definitely getting the floppy comb too now when her and cluck norris were little they looked just so much alike that i actually didn't name them i called them the nuggets until until her comb started flopping and cluck norris just stayed straight up that's how i was able to tell them apart so i did think that with a nice floppy comb looking all rock and roll that she would be a good Chick Springsteen. I still love the name. Yes. I know. We're going to get you back up soon because you're really freaking out. And I don't want you to freak out too much. Now you'll see like on her head she's still getting some of her feathers back in from where she's molting. Yes. Alright. 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 Calm down. Now I will say... um. I have heard that some people do use leghorns for meat birds. I cannot possibly understand why because as you can see, she, even though she's one of my oldest, she's not very big. Uh, I definitely, I, I don't use any of my birds for meat birds, but I definitely, this would not be my first choice if I was. So that's, um, maybe, maybe it's just certain kinds of leghorns. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they are. They kind of tend to stay on the smaller side. They're not bantams, but uh, they're, they're just definitely a uh, smaller breed. At least mine are. Who knows? Uh, oh, calm down. Now she, I tell you one thing. Don't mess with her when she's laying. She is a hisser. She's a scary, scary. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, please, please, please don't make me chase you. I got a hurt foot. What? Cluck Norris, what do you think of my hat? I forgot to mention my hat. Brand new hat. Made it, uh, finished it actually after I'd hurt my foot. It was a good time to sit down and finish the crocheting project. So this is my newest holiday hat. It's, you know, for holding true to the whole holidays. Uh, wearing a holiday hat every video. You were just not happy. I'm playing with her waddles. She's got cute waddles. Chick Springsteen, do you want to apologize real fast before we head out to say, I'm sorry I'm being so naughty for my debut. Let's see. She won't. She'll probably try to fly away. Say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was so naughty for my debut. I don't like the, I don't like the spotlight. All right. I'm going to try to get y'all a wing shot. She's like not really having it, but she's. There we go. All right. You want to go back up? You want to go back up? All right. So. Chick Springsteen. I do have merch. I will put that underneath. I have, don't forget about the Instagram chicken selfies. Ch Chick Springsteen is actually in there a lot because even though she's acting naughty now, she's usually pretty good about letting me pick her up as long as we're inside the row. And I think it's something about, because she's one of those, even though I keep, you know, I let them free range. She don't really like it too much. She feels safer in the fenced in area, which is fine. Um, so, 
I think that just being outside of the run is kind of making her nervous. Yes. Alright. So I will put the link to the merch and the chicken selfies down below. Cluck cluck everybody. Sorry that this was sort of a naughty chicken video. I'm trying to get that profile we got. Nope. She's like, nope. Put your neck out. Put your neck out. <laughs> Alright, cluck cluck everybody.